Okay, this is Module 2, Lesson 15. Now, I'm going to go over some of the homework problems. I'm not going to solve them all for you, not every step. I'll set them up, I'll discuss them. A lot of us had trouble with the previous word problem lesson, so we'll give you a little more support this time. If you want to see the problem solved, well, I'm not going to do that, but I will refer you to the practice set problems uh, that are very similar, and you can watch the other screencasts to see how they're solved step by step. Of course, the numbers will be different. Okay, let's read this word problem. It says, Tia cut. 4 meters 8 centimeters wire into 10 equal pieces. Marta cut 540 centimeters wire into 9 equal pieces. How much longer is one of Marta's wires than one of Tia's? The first thing we'll notice here is that this is in meters and centimeters and this one is just centimeters. It's going to be easier to work with just the centimeters and that's easy enough to convert right because we know that one meter is 100 centimeters so we'll rename that I'm not going to do that for you but I am going to start you with a tape diagram or two so we're going to look at Tia we're going to draw a tape diagram and I'm going to give that as, and let's see if I can just move that down and make a little more space, there we go. I'm going to say that's 4 meters, 8 centimeters. It's your job to convert that to meters and centimeters, to straight centimeters. We're going to divide this into 10 equal pieces. I'll try to get this about right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 horizontal lines or vertical lines will give us 10 partitions. And we need to find that out. That's a not very nice looking bracket, but you get the idea. So that represents what operation? We know the hole. We have 10 equal pieces of that hole. So you should be able to figure out what to do there. Now we have Marta. We know that Marta's is somewhat longer. So I'll represent that as a longer piece. And we will represent the hole as 540 centimeters. We're going to divide this into nine equal pieces. So I'm going to make uh, nine groups using eight vertical lines. Again, each one of these is equal and we want to find that amount. So we need to find the uh, unit. We know the whole. We've got to find the parts. Then we have to compare the parts. So how much longer is one of Marta's wires than Tia's? Well, we know that Marta's longer. So I am going to represent that. And this question mark here is the answer to here. And I'm going to just call this Marta's wire, what the length is of one of the wires. We need, we need to find out what Tia's wire is, one wire. The answer to this question mark, all right? And that's going to be our value for Tia's wire, TW. And we're looking for that. And again, we're going to know the whole, we're going to know one part. Once we figure out the answer to Tia's, uh, the length of Tia's wires, we're going to enter that value here. And once we know the length of Marta's wire, we're going to enter the value here. This tape diagram should be enough information to show you what operations are necessary. Let's move to the next one. Now this one, number two, is a lot like the number two in your practice set. So if you need to refer to all the steps to get through this problem, refer to the other video, look for number two. Let's read it. Jay needs, Jay needs 19 quarts more paint for the outside of his barn than the inside. He uses 107 quarts in all. How many gallons of paint will be used to paint the inside of the barn? Well, the first thing we notice is we've got quarts here, quarts here, and we have gallons here. We'll start with quarts, but in the end we're going to have to convert to gallons. So, let's start with what we know and set up some uh, representations here. 
uh, we see that we have J needing 19 more quarts for the outside than the inside. Well, let's now represent the inside. All right, I for inside. We don't know what that is. We know that the outside is going to be the same. And 19 quarts more. We know that the total for the two of these is 107. I'm going to show you another way to represent this. I, I am not sure which way I prefer, but I'm going to just make two equal parts in one tape diagram in one smaller part. And this is going to represent the outside. This will represent the inside. And the total, the whole, is 107. What do we have to do? Well, we have two equal parts, but we have to exclude this 19. You should be able to figure out what we have to do there. Alright, so we, again, have two equal parts looking at either one of these. Okay, So we're going to have to get rid of that. I think I've given you plenty of clue as to what operation has to be performed between these two. And then we have to find the remaining value, and we have to split it into two equal parts. Again, that gives you a good hint for your operations. When you're done with that, don't forget, we have to convert our quarts, quarts to gallons. So I am just going to leave a blank here. We're going to figure out in the end how many quarts we have and for the inside of the barn. So we've got to find that again, the value of the inside, this. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Or we're looking for it here with this. Whatever that value is, how many quarts, it, no matter how many quarts it is, we've got blank quarts equals blank times one quart equals blank times, well, one quart is the same as what fraction of a gallon? So we're going to put a fraction in there for our gallons. And then we're going to complete our operation by multiplying that fraction times whatever our number of quarts is for the inside. Again, if you need uh, a little bit more guidance with this, go to the other video from the practice set. And the procedures are pretty much the same. So, we can guide you through that. The only difference is the numbers are going to be different. The units are going to be different. But the operations are going to be the same. Okay, this one is very much like number three in your practice set. And again, if you want to refer back to that video, I can guide you through all the steps. Although the numbers will be different, the operations and the process will be the same. We have string A is 35 centimeters long. String B is five times as long as string A. Both are necessary to create a decorative bottle. Find the total length of string needed for 17 decorative bottles. Express your answer in meters. Let's start with our tape diagram for the first step. We know A. A is 35 centimeters long. B is 5 times as long, so we'll represent that with 5 of these boxes, all the same size. And we'll label them 35. How many of these 35s do I have? In all, since I need to use both A and B to make this, I'm going to have to combine these for a total of six of these 35s. If I have six 35s, you should know the operation for solving that. Not all that difficult. Then, since this is going to be one bottle, our answer to this equals one bottle, we need to find 17 bottles. So 17, uh, we could say um, that is 17 times one bottle. Okay, whatever the answer is for one bottle. Uh, 
the answer to the first part of this problem. And in the end, we're going to have to convert it from centimeters to meters. Now, you should be able to do that without any extra help. It's very simple. I hope this gets you to, through the problem. Again, refer to the practice set if you need extra guidance. This one is like the practice set number four. Uh, again, I, you can't really solve this uh, easily without using a tape diagram. In some ways, I feel as though setting up the tape diagram is almost a cop-out here, but uh, if you need the help, I'll get you the help. There's no sense in a lot of frustration. So, we have a pineapple is seven times as heavy as an orange. A pineapple also weighs 870 grams more than the orange. What is the total weight in grams for the pineapple and orange? We'll start with the orange. We don't know that. Uh, we don't know how big it is. So, let's now represent the pineapple. That's seven times as heavy. So I'll represent that with seven of boxes of the same size. So we've got that. We want to find the total weight in grams of both of those. But I don't know how big they are. I don't know how big the orange is. I have no idea the size of the pineapple. But the key information is here. The pineapple also weighs 870 grams more than the orange. Well, that means we have to look at this portion here. This portion of the tape diagram representing the pineapple, I should label that, is 870 grams. Now we have something to work with. Because if I count these, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 units equals 870 grams. We need to find out what one unit is. And then we have to find how much, how many units? Well, they were talking about the pineapple and the orange together. So I have one unit here, I have seven unit here, uh, for a total of how many? That would be eight units. We're going to have to go through a number of operations to figure this out. Okay, so we have it in grams. And for part B, we need to convert grams to kilograms. And we've done enough practice with that. You shouldn't have too much trouble with it. So go at it. You can do it. But this is the kind of problem that shows the value of a tape diagram. Get to know them because the problems only get more complex as the year goes on.